trying to have done as well is as you can see here with this with the sails at the back we've got um just a big sail bag really and the lazy jacks um are separate to the bag so um we're going to do away with that we're going to have a stack pack if you like where we can just drop it straight in zip it back up and, and that's all done um i still haven't i still haven't worked out what the heck this is really i know it holds the boom up but i don't know what the ropes are for then if it holds the boom up then why do you need ropes on it i've no idea um and then if it holds the boom up i i really don't know what those two lines are doing there at the back of the at the back of the boom because it's being held up here then you don't need to hold it up there as well or is that like just double triple i don't know security to make sure it doesn't fall i don't know i'll have to learn also we're having decals made for the side of the boat and obviously a name change that'll be quite smart and it's going to get a nice clean polish because this place is filthy i've asked them if they can try and make me a windscreen here as well to go across the front um, so that i get better helm protection really in bad weather but i also want it to either be able to drop down like a land like an old land rover i suppose or lift up the reason being is because I need to be able to as well let the air flow through, particularly if I'm in a hot climate. I've got the video going, because you can hear the stereo, that is noisy, because I'm having to nearly shout, but you go out here, and this is every day at the minute, all day, it is so noisy. I can't wait for them to finish. They're sandblasting the, uh, the boat. Nightmare. So this is where they've taken the tables out. At the legs. Uh, as you can see the boat's filthy. Um, because the dockyard really is not a place to be. This is the current toilet. As you can see. It's... Um, not a big thing, so we've got the new toilet seats. We uh, in the front here we've got the laundry, and down here we've put the um, the freezer and strapped it down so that uh, had these brackets fitted, so we can strap it down so that if we get bad weather it doesn't matter. What we did under here was, if you look, there's four bolts. Um, under there, they held in one of these little bars that went all the way along here and that was fine but we felt it kind of got in the way of being able to use the proper depth to that shelf so we've taken it out and we bought some uh, little boxes there to put our stuff in um, that now fit in it they were where they wouldn't um, and we left a space here for a microwave and there it is now like I said really what we've tried to do is we've by getting rid of that bar we've managed to clear this area up quite neatly it all should stay pretty much where it is we've actually bought some velcro just in case these decide to slight start to move so we can velcro it down just to make sure we don't get a lot of rocking in a catamaran but um, you never know and what we've tried to go for here is a machine that um, well does more than one job. It's got a whole heap of functions, and that, together with the um, together with the planned replacement for this, um, means that we should be able to do most of uh, most of the sort of cooking that we'd like. Really, well, today's turning out to be quite a good day. I put that in myself earlier today. They've already been out today to look to see how they're going to recut that hole to get the, uh, the new um, oven in there. But now that big one's finished. I think that's virtually done now. Um, I think they're waiting to get it back in the water and I think uh, that's left a lot of lads able to do other work, which is really good news for me. We're just putting the ethernet cable in up here. It's also going to connect straight into our little router here. Um, which means that all the data that's on the NAS drive will be available on Wi-Fi. 
which means the telly can pick it up. Well hey, and the day continues. So there's my uh, Wi-Fi router using a Netgear Nighthawk, which means that my little NAS drive there can be kicking away. Thing is, it's got loads of updates to do, which is going to kill my data allowance on my SIM card, which means I have to upgrade again. Not upgrade, but um, which means I'll have to uh, renew it, renew the SIM card. Ah, and Puck. Puck's the lucky girl who gets the new lights. So these are dimmable and they've got a USB charger in the bottom of them. USB slot. Which means you can charge your phone while you sit there overnight. So that's her bedroom pretty much done. Bloody hell. Bit of panic stations. I was uh <laughs> I need to set fire to the boat. I was looking at my uh, Robasto heating system and I decided to turn it on to see if it worked. And it just got quicker and quicker and quicker. And then, oh, it didn't smell very good. And then suddenly a load of smoke started billowing out the back of the boat. So it was a really good job. I was actually in a dockyard where people could see the smoke because they thought the boat was on fire. Um, see, I don't know, what the heck's that you see? What is that for? This is bizarre. Um, no idea what this. What? <sighs> That's what I was trying to get working, and it looked like it nearly set fire to the boat somehow. Um, because all the uh, workers in the yard suddenly started banging on the boat, asking me to uh, come out quickly and. See what's Good going morning. on. Good morning. Yeah. What happened? Oh, I, I <laughs> nearly set fire to the boat. <laughs> um, well, smoking. Lots of smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know where from, but it's um. This is it. This this machine here. Well, the last time. You use this. I've, I've never used it. Uh, we we go to turn on. Okay. And check or time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Play and check. Perfect. I think it's the good idea because yeah. this is uh, for diesel. Diesel half a smoke. It's it no, no, electric. Electric? No heated? No. Sure. I think no. Eh? You think diesel? I oh, think right. diesel. Normally it's diesel. Oh, oh here. Yeah, oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Here we have the manual. Yeah. We have, okay. We go to. Check All right. Okay. Again. Okay. Is it diesel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Um, basically, what happened, I tried to turn the heating system on because it's got um, heaters on both sides. And I thought, right, I will try them. It's a bit cold this morning. I'll just test them out. And, uh, yeah, the boat started billowing with smoke. And I had suddenly had uh, 10 uh, dock workers on the boat trying to find out where the fire was quickly. Um don't think it really was a fire. Um, we don't know. There's a little hole in a pipe. Uh, it's a, they're, they're diesel. They're, they're, they're Robusto like diesel. I don't mean, know much about them. Um, yeah, diesel heaters. I thought they were just electric, but they're not. They're diesel. Um, and I think they, on the exit, the exhaust pipe had a little hole in it for some reason. So they've got to repair that. Um, we still haven't really come to the... Um, we still don't really know why they would um, that we would have such a lot of smoke coming out of the boat. Um, we're just going to have to look into it and then keep trying and see if we can either replicate it um, and then find out what it is, um, or um, we'll just fix it and see. And if it doesn't make any more smoke again, maybe that was just a bit of dust in the system. We don't know really. So um, yeah, they're going to come back later and fix that. Yeah, it's not every day you need to burn your boat down. <laughs> <laughs>